Fazvor, welcome. It's good to have you here. Nice to, nice to be here. Thank it's, you. I appreciate I'll it. I'll tell you what, I'm looking at some of the stuff you've brought here today and just what magnificent food you prepare. And the presentation is just exceptional. Thank you. After listening to your weather forecast, as yes. always, hot, noticing hot. that it's hot, hot, yes. hot. So I decided to make you a nice, cool, octopus mango salad. Oh, I thought it. you were going to say something's a little fishy <laughs> with my forecast, but I'm <laughs> glad that's not the case. Forecast is very well. So you're doing, you're doing an octopus here, is that right? Yes. Well, what Tell I us about the octopus. Um, what, I, what we did was we cooked the octopus a little bit earlier today because uh -huh. octopus has to be cooked in simmered water. If the water is actually boiling, yes. it could actually really make the octopus tough and chewy. Oh, we've all seen that. <laughs> yes. We don't want that. And the process of it takes about two hours. So we have some cooked octopus there, and I did went ahead and chopped some for you to make this uh, particular salad, which is very simple, and you can do it at home in short time, Great. not hot let's at all. Let's get it. Let's, let's do it. I'm okay. going to trade places with you sure. so you have a better shot so here. What we're so gonna... now, in, instead of, uh, go ahead, so instead of boiling, you're actually kind of poaching, gently Correct. poaching. Correct. Right. The water has to be at 200 degrees, because when it hits okay. 212, it's actually boiling. Uh -huh. At 200, just has the little yeah. light bubbles that will cook Giving it a warm room. bath. That's right, That's right. yes. Okay. So what we have is some sliced cucumbers that I will be putting in a bowl for you. Mm -hmm. And then we also have some um, sliced mango. Mango. Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then this is our Mango's great octopus right that too. I sliced a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. It goes right on top. Where does the best octopus come from? Those look gorgeous. Best octopus is usually from Spain or Portugal. Oh, okay. You, you can find really well good octopus from there. Mediterranean waters? Is yes. that what you're mm -hmm. looking for? Okay. And this is a Japanese wheat vinegar. The difference between this and regular cider vinegar or white vinegar, this is not as pungent. It's a little bit sweeter, a little easier to enjoy. Kind of like a mirin sort of? Yes, kind yes. Of? Mm -hmm. okay. And so we put a little bit of that on top, mm -hmm. and we can just mix this very easily. I like to use chopsticks, pretend like I know how to use them. There you go. <laughs> Fake and it till you make we it. We have some shaved a cucumber. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. That we put Man. right on top. Who did that? That's brilliant. And then some shaved carrots mm -hmm. mm. and there you have it this is your uh octopus mango salad really let very me, let me very refreshing oh this looks great now for warm weather this is fantastic i tell you i looked at some of your menu items and uh they're pretty fantastic too thank you mm. that's really nice good good enjoy and you know people think about um fresh seafood and sushi and everything and mm -hmm. it's not Fishy at all. It's very light and refreshing and crisp. Oh, absolutely. And sushi has become very popular. And what mm. I did was I brought uh, some samples of different dishes for you here. This is fantastic stuff. We have stuff. A, a, a grouper sashimi. Sashimi is a form of uh, sushi that does not have any rice. It's mm -hmm. raw fish by itself. As you can see, the grouper is filleted and served just like this at the restaurant with prior notice for it. And then we also have Red snapper, again, done Man. the same way. Look how, what the presentation style. is beautiful. And then, of course, the standard sushi, which a lot of people are familiar Correct. with, and that's served with the uh, flavored rice. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. of course. Sticky and these are some rice. of the rolls that we have. And one of the most popular rolls that we have sitting there is the mangrove tuna. Uh, it looks so good. Yeah, and that's our uh, Mexican roll, which we do a little different than most restaurants. So it's really good, very refreshing for this time of the year. And we should say that you serve not only these fish dishes, but you also have a wide variety of other more traditional y dishes yes. as well. And I tell you, I was looking at your menu. That portobello tempura french fry, yeah. I think I'm looking at that. That looks pretty it darn is very good, good to me. It's very good. Blue Mangrove Restaurant right over 41 in Bradenton, just past the hospital. Uh, and the recipe on our website, mysuncoast.com. Thanks for coming in today. Thank Bob. you. I really appreciate it.